You want to get some of my merch in your stocking, Lauren? <gasps> I would love to. Merry Christmas. I know it's a little early, but I'm in the Christmas creepy spirit. So are you ready to be in the Christmas creepy spirit together? Sure. <laughs> you seem scared. I am kind of scared. I don't know what creepy Christmas spirit is. Well, we're about to find out, girl. I'm so excited. Oh, no. I just love, I love Christmas. I want to get a tree. I want to get, like, scared. I want someone to sneak into my house at night and me be like, Santa! And him, like, hit me with an axe. Like, I just want everything. Yeah, my favorite part about Christmas, the fear. <laughs> <laughs> the fear, the screaming, the loathing. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. All right, let's get it. I can't wait. <laughs> it was November of 2006. Hey, November. That's not Christmas yet. Listen, he's getting into it early too. We can't judge him for this. Yeah, that's true. I feel like most people start celebrating like now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, not later. Right now. I was a 16 year old kid living in the town of Altoona, Iowa. I went to bed early one night because I had to work the early shift at McDonald's. I had a dream that I was running through downtown Des Moines. Des Moines? But I wasn't on a jog. I was running from something. Uh. Oh no. Santa? <laughs> As I ran around the corner of a building, I came face to face with oh, my pursuer. No, no, no. Who is it? A tall man wearing a trench coat <laughs> and a top hat stood <gasps> up. The only thing visible of his face was his eyes. <gasps> they were abnormally large with black pupils, and it looked at me as if it wanted something. It, this isn't Christmas. I just don't get it. Like, he's saying, like, this guy had black pupils. Like, who doesn't have black pupils? Oh, yeah, that's true. Black pupils. It's like, oh, we all have black pupils. And the surrounding area around my eye is also black, so I don't know what to tell you. He saw you that night. <laughs> you were the creepy <laughs> demon. It's like, I've never seen somebody with black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she was short, but, oh, those eyes. Spooky. No. After what felt like hours, he reached out his bony hand. As if he wanted me to go with him. Don't. Why are you going? And he was like, and then I did. <laughs> I woke up violently from my dream. And after catching oh, my breath, I peered around my room to see if I was safe. As I stood up from my bed. Quick question, Lauren. When you have a nightmare that's absolutely horrible, do you get out of bed and walk around in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. just to make sure you're safe? Walk around? No. Yeah, no. My glance around <laughs> to make sure I'm safe. I turn my flashlight on my phone on and I'm like, uh, 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 but I don't walk around scaring myself. You don't get up. Jeez. Then the demon would know that you're up in a way. You gotta, you gotta throw him off. That's how you get taken away. Like, what is this guy doing? Yeah. Feeling confused, I checked my window. It was latched shut. I then walked over oh, and checked oh. my net. He's checking I all the hot still spots. Feel warm air coming from it. As I sat back down on my bed, I tried to figure out what exactly was going on. That's when the figure from my dream oh, appeared at the foot no. of my bed. Eww, oh. It's so scary. I scrambled back to my headboard. What do you want? I asked. <gasps> Jeez! Trying to hide the shakiness in my voice. And with the same bony finger, it pointed at me. Uh. Growing up in a religious home, I believed what I was looking at was a demon. It's a demon. Oh, it has to be a demon. And honestly, like, I, I wouldn't say, what do you want? I'd be like, okay, listen, this is a demon. Like, just scream. Just, <gasps> Yeah, right? What do you want? What do, what do you want, sir, with the creepy bony hands who comes out of nowhere? <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> it's fine. I told the creature to leave. Get out. Leave. It just waved its finger at me. And with a low voice, it no, spoke no, to no. me. No. Never leave. Always here. Ooh, this is a true story, Lauren. The creature then screamed loudly and disappeared. <gasps> oh my god! A feeling of nausea came over me and I vomited on my floor. Whoa! The last uh. thing I remember was cleaning myself up and waking up to Black my alarm. Ooh. Black ooze pop it. It's been about a month since I had seen the top hat. Okay, so it's been a month now. Now it's Christmas. I was just gonna say, I was like, where does Christmas come from? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a really scary story. Thank you, but where is Christmas? Here it is. Here's Christmas. The Christmas season was in full effect. Demons love Christmas. <laughs> my parents weren't home because they got invited to some kind of event. So it was only me and my three sisters at home. Oh. I had to wake up early in the morning for work, so I decided to go to sleep. 
I rested my head on my pillow and closed my eyes. Oh, don't do that. Not even 30 seconds passed until my sisters burst into my room and started <sighs> singing obnoxious songs. Okay, if it was me, I'd be like, girls, sleep in my bed tonight. I know that's kind of weird, but like, seriously, like, I'm so scared. Mom and dad aren't home. This is like a setup here. Like, this is a setup. I'm gonna see the man in the top hat and he's gonna scream at me. This, of course, made me very angry. But I thought if I ignored them, that they would leave me alone. That's not how it works with sisters, bud. This was not the case. As I pulled the blankets over my head, I started to feel the same cold feeling that I had in November. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. As the obnoxious singing subsided, I lowered the blanket no. below my God, eyes. No, oh, I'm scared. I saw the man standing in the corner. Oh, that's so scary. In one swift motion, he charged towards me. Oh, 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 oh he's so fast. Where is the sisters? When I finally came to, I found that my sisters had locked themselves inside the bathroom. They abandoned, they abandoned him. They were just like, nope, bye. Yeah, they were like, you know what? Let's let him handle this. He didn't like our singing. He can die for this. This is his own fault. <laughs> As I knocked on the door, they told me me to go away. What do you mean? I asked Where'd them the what happened, go? and all they could say was mom and dad were on their way home. Gee. Holes were in the bathroom door, and a broom was sticking out of the wall. What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> I was just about to say, why is there a broom sticking out of the wall? I don't know where this broom came from, but it looks like the sisters were in the room and maybe they think that he's the monster. Cause they're like, nah, -uh, you're not coming in. I then walked into the living room and <gasps> found that there were knives stuck into the wall as well. Jeez. The same wave of nausea passed over me, just like in November. And I threw up again. Oh, oh no. Merry Christmas. This is the worst Christmas ever. This is a horrible Christmas. As I was cleaning up, my parents walked through the door. My father immediately walked oh. over to me and gave me a good beating. A then he sent me to my room. What? Wait, who? I went to bed crying. Wait, wait, he's he's completely taken the blame for this. Wait, so the dad was like, why are you sticking knives and brooms in the wall? The dad's like, what the heck did you do with my broom? Boom! Wapam! Japow! Poor guy! This is the worst Christmas ever! This is actually the worst Christmas! I went to bed crying. Aww. Not from the beating. I was crying because of the confusion. I had no idea what was going on. Oh, the geez. next morning, my sisters reluctantly sat next to me and told me what had happened. Oh, okay, what happened? I need to know. They said I got angry oh. and chased them down and tried to oh. hurt them. They oh, said it was my eyes him. were red to the point where they thought I was bleeding from them. Oh my. They said I sounded like a different person. He did put the broom in there. In 2011, that was the last time I saw the top hat wearing man. So the demon was his inner demon. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Is that what's happening? Oh jeez. Ooh, it'd be so hard to trust your brother after that one. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine that every Christmas you just became evil? <laughs> Everybody's so excited for Christmas and he's just like, I don't know if I'm gonna kill somebody, I don't know. <laughs> don't sing carols at my bed at night. I might get so mad that the broom is gonna be the first to go. He really hates brooms. I just moved into a new apartment and after a long stressful day of unpacking, I took a shower and got ready for bed. As I started to drift off, oh, I could geez. feel that cold feeling again. Oh no. I lifted my head and saw the man standing in front of what? me. What, why is he? <gasps> he's got red eyes now. The man's eyes were red now. Uh oh. With a low voice, just like on that November night, it looked at me and said, Merry Christmas. Never leave. Always here. Oh. Oh, I hate that. Wait, so we don't know what happened to this guy? No. Did he keep trying to kill people? It just kept getting worse. It just kept getting worse. I will say, like, if I lived with my parents, um, I'd probably not move out if, you know, Mr. Demon Man was gonna come get me. Yeah, because he was by himself at the end, right? At an apartment? Yeah. Oh, I can show you the continuation of his life if you want. Yes, there's a part two. Yeah, it happens every Christmas, baby. Every Christmas! Every Christmas, boy. Yes! This is the day before Christmas. I work in New York City and commute home every day on the train. Since I'm one of the younger ones in the office, I got stuck with one of the worst shifts. Oh, look at him. He's like got cheekbones now. Wait, so it's the same guy? <laughs> it's the exact same guy, Lauren. Same guy. So I wasn't able to get home until five o'clock. This is his adult life. My family had already left a whole hour earlier to go to my cousin's house, so I had to drive alone. 
Oh, driving alone. Wow, his family just up and abandoned him. After having a quick snack before the half hour drive, I got back in my car and put my cousin's address into my phone. Halfway through the drive, it started snowing. Uh oh. I got to my cousin's house around six o'clock. It's the same house. Same house, I'm telling you. It's the same guy. It was snowing heavily by this point, and I just made it in time to catch everyone starting dinner. Oh. I brought all of my gifts oh, inside rich now. and cheerfully said hey to everyone. Hey, everyone. Daddy's home. Life's going good for him. I stayed until around 11 o'clock. The rest of my family left a little sooner. I stayed an extra half hour or so just to hang out before leaving myself. Wait a second. So his family went there and then just left before he even got there? They're still mad, okay, about what happened before. Ah, uh, yes. They're like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Bruce is coming. They're like, we know how he gets on Christmas, <laughs> so we're not going to be anywhere near him. Yeah, we're, we'll do a rain check on this. By the time I was leaving, the ground had accumulated at least two feet of snow, and it wasn't even done snowing. That's a lot of snow. Yeah. The drive home was nightmarish. The roads were hardly even plowed, and I had to drive under 20 miles per hour on most roads. Don't fall asleep at the wheel, boy. The roads were completely dead at this point, though. Most likely because everyone was smart enough to go home before the snow accumulated. This is a guy in his adult life, he really rambles a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it was nightmarish. I was, uh, I was driving, I was a little hungry, had a little gas <laughs> bloating. It's like, okay, hey, what happened, boy? Eventually, I turned onto a main road that I'm sure would usually be bustling. But at 11.15 on Christmas Eve night, there wasn't a single car or a single light from a store. It was okay. a ghost town. Uh -oh. But then I did notice the flashing taillights of one car. Oh jeez. It was parked on the side of the road, and the smoke seeping out from its exhaust with the taillights giving it a red tint. Can't you just go home? As I got closer, I realized there was somebody next to the car waving their hand in the air. I assumed something was wrong and they needed help. It's Christmas, you need to help people. True, okay, okay, Lauren understands the spirit of Christmas. For me, I'd be like, HIT THE GAS! I'm like, oh, it's Christmas, we should help them. Cass would be like, gotta get out of here! <laughs> yeah, gotta get out of here! I know what happens on Christmas, okay? Me being the good Samaritan I am, I pulled up behind the car. When I opened my door, the guy approached me immediately, oh! barely even giving me time to step out. He was an average-sized man. Wait, Santa? Has Santa been working out and shopping at Raining Champ? Like, what's going on here? I mean, he's wearing red and he's got the beard and everything. He spoke in a very demanding voice, asking me if I know anything about fixing an engine. I told him I didn't know much about cars. <laughs> The guy responded very quickly to everything I said. He told me it's fine. He's like, I gotta go deliver gifts. Help me. Help me, my car is broken. I'm driving my new cyber truck and it's breaking down. He went inside of his car for a second, <laughs> popped open his trunk, came back out and told me to just wait by the trunk for a second. No, I'm not gonna wait by the trunk. Why? I had just go no wait by idea the trunk. What he me to do. Why would you do really that? Confused. Just don't. Just he go home, you've done enough. And I He's heard him push open you the, the trunk, hood. Man. Where do you draw the line, Lauren? Like, you pull over, you say, listen, I, can, I will help you. And then if he says, wait by the trunk, that's when you would leave, right? Yeah, because why would you do that? Why would you need to wait by the trunk? You wouldn't. You would never, ever. Well, also, you just told him you can't help him. And he was like, okay, uh, wait by the trunk then. <laughs> just wait by here. I'm not going to shove you in there or anything like that. And the loud wind of the snowstorm overpowered any small jump. noises he might have been making. <laughs> I put my hand on the back of the car and leaned my body in anticipation. Okay. When suddenly Fine. I heard three or four quick and aggressive footsteps in the snow behind me Ugh. before I was pushed into the trunk. No, I knew it! Yep, told you. The man tried to close the trunk on me, but I kicked my feet up in resistance and held <laughs> this it This guy's up. really had a rough go at it, I will say. Like he was a crazy red-eyed monster and now he's getting shoved into Santa's trunk. He's like, I hate Christmas. <laughs> the worst holiday. He tried to grab me now, and I dug my house key oh. right into his neck. He overpowered Santa. See, if Santa didn't get so scrawny, Santa would have won. But Santa made the mistake of going on Weight Watchers, and now he's getting overpowered. Should have stuck with them. Milk and cookies. Yeah, he should have eat them at every single house. That's how he gets his strength. I was in my car and halfway down the road before he could even get up from his knees. He just okay. killed Santa. You just killed Santa. A little further down, I called 911 Santa. and reported the guy. I came back in 10 minutes to find blue and red lights illuminating the windows of the deserted stores. Okay, cop lights. The police held him until the ambulance arrived for him. I watched the whole thing and nothing ever felt better in my life. What do you mean nothing ever felt better in your life? You must have had a really weird life. Remember the time I stabbed a guy in the neck and uh, got out of there? Nothing ever felt better. The adrenaline rush was insane! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Far out, dude! I got home safely half an hour later and told my family everything. I was still very shaken that Christmas, 
And this remains possibly the most horrific thing I've ever experienced. I thought it was the most comforting thing. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was your favorite thing. I mean, it looks like from childhood to adulthood, this guy just had a rough go at it. And you know what? This makes me excited for Christmas, Lauren. Oh yeah, so pop for Christmas. <laughs> excited to stab Santa. Excited just, you know, get my stab on. Get the broom in the wall. Oh yeah. Wait, there's not gonna be Christmas this year because he killed Santa. Oh, true. I mean, Santa was getting kind of old anyway. Yeah, it's fair. We need new Santa. Maybe Santa was trying to shove him into a trunk to give him to his crush for Christmas. Okay, sure. Or maybe he was trying to make him become the new Santa because he was getting too old. Oh, I've always wondered, like, is that where Santa comes from? Is Santa just a guy who was shoved into a trunk and taken to the North Pole? It's like, yo, you're Santa now. Have fun with that. Yeah, I mean, like, who would want to do that, though? That's a lot of work. Nobody. It's just you, Reindeer, and Mrs. Claus. You think somebody does that by choice? No, nobody would ever be Santa by choice. Ugh, it's sickening. We figured it out. We have figured it out. And you know what else I want to go figure out? What? I want to go figure out what's going on in your channel. Ooh. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you tell me about it a little, huh? Well, I think we're gonna take a sharp turn from creepy and go to things that are amazing. Ooh, I like the way you think, girl. All right, well, go to Lauren's channel, check out some amazing things that me and her are gonna film over there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications, and I will see ya on the next one. Bye! Bye!